Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, Digilog video series. This time we're going back to our computer history um, videos and the computer I want to talk about today is uh, this one, the Timex Sinclair 1000. Now the, the, the reason I want to talk about it is because uh, there are certain features that this computer have has um, that made it quite unique for the time. Uh, it was released in 1982 and it was the UK's company Sinclair uh, trying to enter in the US market. The, um, the Sinclair ZX81 was fairly successful in the UK and the European markets and they wanted a foothold in US. So they associated themselves with a company called Timex uh, to produce their version of computer here in America. And what they did is this uh, computer called Timex uh, Sinclair uh, 1000 was the origin, the first one. Then uh, a few years later, they released the uh, Timex Sinclair 1500. It came out in 1982, and one of the interesting things about it is that it was uh, you had to pay $99.95 for it, which for the time it was the cheapest personal computer you can buy. And that in itself is, a, it's, is an interesting fact, but when you couple that with what the computer could do, um, you actually end up with a pretty good deal. So inside this computer, it's the, the, the normal Z80 uh, processor, as you'd expect in, 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 a, in a, Sinclair, uh, a Sinclair Spectrum series. Um, it's running at uh, 3.25 megahertz. Um, and unfortunately, on the bad side, it only has uh, two kilobytes of, of uh, memory and the monochrome display and the, the keyboard is totally horrible. But the processor on the motherboard uh, made it for a pretty decent computer. And so just to give us an idea where we were at the time in, in 1982, um, we had an established computer such as the um, Apple IIs, um, who were running a 6502 uh, processor. Uh, at about one megahertz, obviously with a lot more memory, color display, and so on, but computation-wise was less. And you also had obviously the Commodore 64, um, also the 6502, also around one megahertz. So just out of the bat, the processor in the Timex it sounds it sounds like a good deal, right? All of those were much much more expensive computers, um, not so much the, the the Commodore, but the Apple II was about five six times uh, more expensive at the time. The only one that kind of came performance-wise was the um, the Texas Instruments uh, TI uh, 99/4 and 99/4A is the one I have here. Um, this one obviously ran their own uh, the Texas, Texas Instruments processor, which was a 16-bit processor, way ahead of everybody else at the time in in, in home computer market, um, running at uh, three megahertz. So it's pretty good uh, performance you got out of that. Um, and in fact, this actually was a few years earlier, and so the TI I think became in 78, so it was four years earlier than this. Uh, but still, for and this was also about $500. So for, you know, for $99, uh, dollars, you could buy a fairly cheap, fairly small, pretty decent computer that unless you were, you know, best part of playing card games, could do actually you pretty good. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, that to the fact that the computer was fairly uh, expandable, you could add um, you know printer to it, uh, extra memory. They released a 16 kilobyte uh, memory module to increase the memory size. Um, made it pretty attractive. Attractive also supported uh, BASIC, um, so you could write programs, a cassette tape, so you could load um, the, the good number of games you could load on the system. Not a bad deal. Um, so, well, let's see what, what you get when you uh, buy, when in 1982, you went to the store and came home with one of those. What inside? All right, let's see what's in the box. Um, Thomas Sinclair 1000. All right, so it, obviously the main piece is the actual computer, which is really, really, really tiny. I mean, compare this to a um, Commodore 64, it's about... I don't know, less than a quarter of the size and probably less than a quarter of the weight. Um, and the, the keyboard was horrible for a time. It's just, uh, 
you, there is no force feed of this. You have no clue when you're pressing a key on it other than actually seeing something on the screen. Um, here on the side, you have the power supply first, and then the um, um, uh, sound entry and output for cassette player uh, to get your game seen and software and the uh, output sound. Uh, the TV um, uh, connection, and then this is the ex expansion port where you can put things like uh, more memory, printers, and every other components people had. It's really like, but honestly, I think the design is uh, kind of pretty cute. Simplistic for this time, but not bad. All right, so what else you get? You get obviously the power supply. Um, and you get your usual uh, TV uh, slash antenna um, connection that um, for the signal that is modulated inside. Um, you get the TV, uh, sorry, the, the antenna cable. You get your, um, this is the sound for the cassette player uh, and get some, some, some sorry, connection for the cassette player so you can load and save your games. Um, and you get manuals, which is actually really nice. The Timex, the Sinclair manuals of them were really good. Um, with a lot of example basic programs you can type uh, to do things like graphics and, uh, um, you know, text and so on. Pretty good. Um, looks like other things. Ooh, look at even envelope to send um, feedback to them with registered product. Enroll in the Timex Computer Club. A 90 day warranty on file. Yay! Congratulations on the purchase of your Timex Sinclair computer. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, not bad. So, yeah, I mean, um, a pretty good package. Uh, I keep saying that, but I really believe this computer for time was actually quite. Uh, Quite interesting if you could expand it and uh, add more memory to it. Um, it wasn't bad. As for expansions and, and things you could buy, um, like peripherals for your uh, new uh, Timex Sinclair 1000, you could get a printer, um, which was this one, uh, the, the Timex Sinclair 2040, um, which actually is, is honestly it's a pretty cute printer. Um, it looks like this. Isn't that cute? There's a paper roll inside, um, and it connects into the bus at the back of the computer. But what's interesting, uh, the other thing you could do, because well, two kilobytes is almost useless, really, uh, instead of four RAM, you could buy uh, one of those, um, which is a 16 kilobytes memory uh, expander. And the interesting thing is those would work together. So you would plug in um, uh, the printer in the, car, uh, in the bus first and then plug in the memory uh, after. So you basically have uh, more memory on the printer attached to it. Um, that was actually for, that, that was a pretty, uh, pretty sweet deal that you could get at the time. Uh, and of course you needed a uh, tape uh, player um, for the cassettes um, and you have a pretty complete and good uh, system. So what is inside one of those computers? I mean it's so tiny it can't be much inside right? Well let's find out. So this is the back of it. Um, has two screws over here. more hidden
there you have it. This is basically a uh, it's, it's 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 a very 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 simple board. There are two those are two uh, keyboard cables. All right, so yeah, well there you have it. A very simple board. Uh, here is the uh, the Z80 um, uh, C, uh, CPU. Um, this is Sinclair uh, uh, Research uh, chip 1991, and this is the ULA, uh, which stands for Uncommitted Logic Array. It's basically a bunch of uh, functionality here that deal with um, a connection to the uh, video modulator as well as uh, all the incoming and outgoing uh, cassette tape connections. So this um, is basically an input-output uh, logic. Um, over here we have the uh, expansion port, uh, the two keyboard connectors, uh, the RAM and the ROM chips, and um, yeah, like I said, the video modulator. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much it. The power supply. Um, yeah, this is a very very simple board. Uh, you can see on the back as well. Yeah, this is it basically.